What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news. And before we jump into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Now, this video isn't going to be too, too long. There's not a ton of different shoes in this video. However, we do have some highlights, and that would be that the Air Jordan 9 Cool Gray will be returning in 2025. You heard it here first. We also have a first look at the Amma Meniere Air Jordan 3 in black and a detailed look at the Nina Chanel Abney Air Jordan 3 collab. Other than that, we have news from Nike and one thing from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. In March, we saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adidas Superstar Shelltoe release. And now to further the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, Adidas is going to release a pair for Master Splinter. So shown is the Adidas Superstar, a shoe that doesn't get featured much on the channel. However, in my opinion, this is a perfect blend. I'm sure a lot of you guys as well watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. I know I did. I had all the figures and stuff. So I definitely wanted to showcase the Master Splinter pair. For those that don't know, TMNT is a cartoon. Master Splinter is the mentor for the four turtles and kind of like a father figure. Going over the pair, they feature Shaggy Suede on the upper with pink filling in the three stripes branding. That is a nod to Splinter's colors. And then on the tongues, we have a turtle shell. The insoles are also inspired by the comic book, which features a unique design. And they come with lace jewels that are shaped like Master Splinter's weapons. Other than that, we have white on the toe, which also mimics a turtle shell. The same shade covers the midsole, and then we have a black rubber outsole. Now, although it's not pictured, these are expected to feature a vintage toy-inspired box. And unfortunately, we don't have a release date, but they should be arriving soon, and the retail price will be $130. A shoe that I'm a big fan of is the Nike Field General 82. The shoe was made for football back in 1982, and for the first time they are returning this year. Actually, I believe the original white, red, and black pair dropped in February, but now we have the black and white pair, which features a very clean and simple look, and that will debut this month. So the pair features a black, black, and white color combination, highlighted with ballistic nylon throughout, while we have leather on the overlays. All decked out in black, white hits the swoosh logos, heel tabs, and tongue branding, while a black midsole and a matching rubber outsole completes the look. Now, if you're interested in grabbing this pair, they're going to drop on April 18th, and the retail price is 100 Photos have been circulating for a while now of the Bodhi Nike Astro Grabber, and we finally have release details. So there's actually two pairs releasing. One pair comes dressed in black and coconut milk, while the second features natural black and light cream. So to my knowledge, this is the first time that the Astro Grabber has returned to retailers, or I should say going to return to retailers. And this model was originally released back in 1974. Some reports are saying they actually released in 76, but to go over each pair, the first features black leather on the upper with coconut milk on the swoosh logos, laces, tongue labels, and the liner. Bodhi branding is seen on the tongue label, while bronze hits the lace jewel. Finishing the look is a black midsole with a matching waffle rubber outsole. So this pair definitely has vintage vibes. Now the second one kind of has an updated look. This is the natural pair and it comes with a woven mesh upper, all dressed in natural. Next, we have black on the swoosh logos, and then co-branding lands on the tongues and insoles, and the insoles feature blue, and they also come with various lace charms. Now, for those that want to grab one or both, they're going to drop on April 18th. Unfortunately, we don't know which retailers will have them just yet, and the retail price is 160 each. Now, I'll probably go after the black one, I think that looks a lot nicer than the natural pair, but let me know your thoughts on the two down in the comment section below. In one of the previous videos, I talked about the upcoming Nike SB Dunk Low City of Style. Now, right after I dropped the video, new images leaked that showcase that the shoe features a tearaway upper. So the tearaway upper gives it a whole entirely new look, but to run it back just a little bit, 
The overall theme is inspired by fashion prints seen in Paris. And once you cut the outer layer off, it actually displays a shade of red. It actually looks nice. If I were to get these, I would probably cut them away. And with these photos, it actually shows it with the original print on the toe and the panels. And then there's another set of images that shows it pretty much completely all taken away. I like when Nike SB does stuff like this, gives it a unique look. But to go over the details, this pair features a football gray, coconut milk, khaki, flat gold, cell, and dragon red color combination. Currently, they are scheduled to release April 22nd. It's possible it could get delayed. But at the time of recording, that is the release date. And the retail price is $125. New photos of the upcoming Futura Nike SB Dunk Low recently leaked. And that was thanks to Futura himself, a graffiti artist from New York. And also shown is the friends and family pair. So with the friends and family pair, I've seen rumors going around that they're limited to 250 pairs. There's also a style code floating around for that shoe, which is pretty interesting because there's a possibility, and I mean a slight one, that a limited amount could release. But even if they did and only 250 pairs were made, that means that even less than that is going to release because I'm sure his friends and family are going to keep them. Now, this is all speculation. This isn't confirmed if the friends and family pair will debut. But the other pair, which we've seen before, that pair will be available at retailers. And seems that there's a lot of hype for them. So this pair definitely will be hard to obtain. I couldn't even imagine if the friends and family actually has a small drop, how hard those would be to obtain. But personally, I like the retail pair a lot better. I like the shades used and just the overall look. And they come dressed in a bleach aqua, geo teal, and white color combination. From this image, it appears that although it's somewhat similar, the overall graphics that are used are slightly different. Also with the retail release, they come with white on the toe box, panels, and tongue. While the friends and family pair features a gradient white to yellow on the panels. We have blue on the ankle. And the toe boxes are filled in. Now, apparently there's a sample version of the retail pair that features a blue toe box. And I believe Futura was trying to insinuate that those were fake. Now, I know where those images came from. I'm pretty positive he doesn't get fake stuff. I know in the sample stage, Nike creates variations, even if it's not asked by the artist or the collaborator. Just so they can show different examples of how it looked. Maybe this will look better this way and so forth. But on to the release details. So we don't have a specific release date, but this pair is expected to debut May 2024. And the retail price will be 135 Moving on to Jordan brand, and we have a detailed look at the upcoming Nina Chanel Abney Air Jordan 3 collaboration. Now, prior to this, we saw the one photo that Nina shared on Twitter, I believe, and it showed the side of the shoe. It was a clean shot, but a lot of people, including myself, wanted to see a detailed look, and it's finally here. So we're going to go over the pair, and this pair features a bicoastal black malachite and fossil color combination. So this pair will feature premium materials throughout. As you can see, it features a hairy green suede on the ankle and replaces where the elephant print would traditionally be around the heel and toe. Now the base will also be in green. It'll feature a canvas-like material. And the tongues on these look a little bit thinner than the traditional Air Jordan 3 tongue. Also, we can see the heel. It does feature Nike Air branding. And coming through it, we have more of that hairy suede. It reminds me a lot of grass. And then off to the side, we have a small label in orange with a Jumpman logo. Now, the insoles will also have a unique design. It's a checkered board pattern in orange and white. We also have the Jumpman logo. And another thing that I do like about the shoes is the rope laces. Now, each pair will come with a hang tag and it'll feature the Jumpman logo on the hang tag in her style of art. On the inside of the tongue, we have leather, but then we have two patches. On the left, it reads Air Jordan. And then on the right, we have Nina. Jumpman logos are placed on the tongue. And then Fossil covers the midsole and most of the rubber outsole with hits of orange and neon. Now each pair will come with special packaging. The packaging is done in all orange. 
It also appears that they come with a second set of rope laces, which are also done in orange. And overall, these are very clean. I like them a lot. Good thing they do come in extended women's sizing. So they'll go up to a 16 and a half in women's, which is a size 15 in men's. Now, as for the release date, this pair is scheduled to debut June 20th. And the retail price will be $225. Let me know your thoughts on these down below. I know a lot of people liked them when I showed them previously. We only had the one photo. Now we have a detailed look showing various angles. So let me know down below. Over the weekend, we also received a first look at the upcoming Ama Manier Air Jordan 3 collaboration. Now, this is one of two Air Jordan 3 collabs with Ama Manier releasing in 2024. This pair is known as Simply Black, and there's also a pair in Burgundy Crush dropping. Now, the official colorway is Black, Black, Flat Pewter, and Violet Ore. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of these. Now, if you like them, don't let me persuade you otherwise, but let me break down the shoes for you. They feature black leather on the base, and then we have gray hairy suede, around the toe and heel. This replaces the elephant print. We have a little bit of violet, which lands on the eye stays done in new buck, as well as the ankle and the tongue. Now, just like the Nina Chanel Abony pair, this pair appears to have a thinner tongue. I do like that look on the shoes. I don't know why I'm not a huge fan of the big, thick, bulky tongues, unless it's on like a Nike SB. And then we have Nike Air branding on the heels. On the right tongue, we have a Jumpman logo. On the left, we have Amma Meniere's A logo. The midsole features an aged-like look. And then most of the rubber outsole will be done in violet. Yeah, so if we're comparing the Nina Chanel Abony to the Amma Meniere Air Jordan 3, I'm definitely taking the Nina Chanel Abony pair. And it's kind of weird because both of these shoes have a thinner tongue, although they're kind of styled differently. And then instead of elephant print, we have suede. Now, as for a release date, this pair is currently scheduled to debut on July 18th, and the retail price will be $250. Let me know your thoughts on this pair down below. Also, in comparison of the Nina Chanel Abony Air Jordan 3, which pair are you liking more? So, the main reason of doing this video was to get this exclusive news out to you guys, and that is the Air Jordan 9 Cool Gray will be returning spring 2025. So we've already got a pretty solid lineup of releases for spring 2025. I know we're only four months in to 2024, so we got a while to go before these releases. But hey, at least you guys get the heads up way before the release, so maybe you can plan them out. Save some money to the side. I know that's what I do. Now, for those that don't know, the Cool Gray Air Jordan 9 is not an original colorway, but they first launched back in 2002. When Michael Jordan played for the Wizards, he actually laced this pair up. I'll probably include a photo of that in this video. And then we saw a first re-release of the shoe back in 2012. Now, in 2024, I believe last month, the Air Jordan 9 Low Golf in Cool Gray released. So it is about time that these do return to retailers, although I like them and I'm happy about it. I still feel that Jordan brand could release a lot of different shoes that haven't been retroed in years, probably even before 2012. But that's not to take away from these because these are dope. And the official colorway of the 2025 pair is medium gray, cool gray, and white. Now to go over the shoes, they feature medium gray on the upper while cool gray hits the lower part of the shoe done in patent leather that extends to the heel as well as the collar. More gray hits the tongue, liner, and the heel pull tabs. And then we have white on the Jumpman branding on the heel, 23, the midsole, and the laces. Completing the look is a translucent rubber outsole. Now, in one of my previous videos, somebody asked about the Air Jordan 9 Cool Gray returning, and I think I responded along the lines, we'll see, or something. But... I don't want to leak too much info out before I drop the video. I wish I could tell everybody beforehand in the comments because I know I get a lot of questions if this shoe's coming out, if this one is. Most of the time, either they're not coming out or in some cases, I just don't know yet. But there's been multiple times where somebody will comment and I definitely will know that they're returning and I'm kind of like want to respond, but I don't know how to respond. So going forward, you guys, if you ask something, you could read between the lines if I do know something or not. 
And then, of course, I will update you guys in the next news video. Now, to the release details. Unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date, but this pair is expected to debut spring 2025, which means that a release could take place between January and March of 2025. And currently, no retail price. However, more than likely, they're going to be either 200 or 210 Hopefully not more than that. Unfortunately, I don't get the prices on these early leaks. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Air Jordan 9 Cool Gray returning. Now, I don't own the 2002 pair, but I do own the 2012. And one thing I disliked about that shoe is the shape. Now, I haven't received confirmation on this, but I'm going to assume that they are planning on updating the shape on the new release. So that would be a plus, And that's enough for me to buy the 2025 pair. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. As well, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now, tomorrow and the next day, I'm probably going to drop a couple shorts. And then hopefully, I'm going to drop another video either Thursday or Friday. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I know there wasn't a ton of news for this one. I tried to put as much info as I could into this video. And just because, like I mentioned, I wanted to get out that Air Jordan 9 Cool Gray info. But for this video, let me know what you liked or disliked down in the comment section below. As well, if you have any questions, leave that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.